My name is Rogers Lehew. Yes, the first name is Rogers with an S. My mother said when I was born that I was so big that she thought I was plural. Our family has a fund at Education Matters, and this story is how it came to be. My commitment to education can be traced back to 1937 in New London, Texas. I was nine years old and in the third grade. The day was March 18th. With about seven minutes left before the school day ended, someone in the shop turned on a saw. What nobody knew was that there was a natural gas leak in the building. One spark was all it took. The explosion was horrible. Luckily, one sister and I were not in school at the time. I saw the whole thing from across the way. My other sister, Mary Ellen, was not so lucky. She died in the blast along with over 310 children and teachers. It was the worst disaster to take place in an American school. The community lost a whole generation. This terrible disaster has subconsciously shaped the choices I've made in my life. My wife Joanne and I can honestly say that many important or significant events in our lives came through a connection to school and education. Like in 1959, when an old schoolmate, Jim Finks, who knew I'd been coaching football at my alma mater, Tulsa University, contacted me to come to Calgary to guest coach one summer with the Calgary Stampeders. I had no idea about Canada or Calgary, but I brought the whole family as a holiday. A year later, I was offered the job of assistant general manager and minor football coordinator. As a recruiter, it was my job and my passion to connect with high school boys across the city, help them complete school, go to university on a scholarship, and then come back to play for the Stampeders. I always encouraged their further education, but also understood the role athletics played in keeping them in school. A few years later, I was named general manager of the club and held that job for nine seasons. I guess because of that, my name had become known in Calgary. At age 50, I had a career change, and I joined my best friend from Tulsa University to help him run Cantex Drilling Company for 19 years. I knew Sam Ellsworth, the first executive director of the Education Matters, through his brother Bob. Sam knew of my commitment to youth and to the community because of the Stampeders and thought I could be a perfect fit for the Board of Governors. So along with Sam, Joanne Cuthbertson, Charlie Fisher, and many others, my wife and I became a founding supporter and I became one of the first governors. Not long afterwards, my daughter Laura, my wife and I, set up our own fund because of our strong belief in public education. Our fund doesn't consist of big fancy donations. We help pay for everyday practical things. Like at Henry Wisewood High School, we help pay for the students' athletic fees. We purchased football down markers at Shouldice Park for all the school teams. But we supported the arts too. Our daughter knew a drama teacher named Dave Jeffries when he taught at Western Canada High School. So we directed our 208 annual gift to their spring drama production. And in 2009, when Education Matters funded the musical literacy program at Monterey Park School to purchase musical instruments, we helped them buy a new set of timpani drums. I was on the grants committee at the time and knew the school needed more help. We've been active in directing money to Education Matters through tribute gifts for birthdays and deaths. For my 80th birthday, instead of having a party, my family and friends were asked to send cards and include a donation to Education Matters. I received over 114 cards and was able to give the trust over $2,300. That's a lot of musical instruments and student fees. You must know, I don't think it's much, but it's my small way of letting others know how important it is to help students and support education. Our family will continue to contribute to the fund so it can continue our connection to the students. It's a fitting tribute to those from New London who lost their lives over 70 years ago. You don't need a lot of money to do something good. It's just the will to give it back that makes a strong connection because education matters. It does matter. <laughs>